If you want to be able to tell in your code if a game object in Unity is active or not, there's a couple of functions in the API that you can use. So we'll have a look at both of them. In my scene, I just have a game object so that I want to be able to tell if it's active or not. And to show that, I've just got a bit of text that I'm going to update to show whether it's active or not as I click it uh, on and off in the hierarchy. So let's just have a look at the quick script that I've set up. So I have a couple of serialized fields, one for the text and one for the game object, which we've got as a hex here. And as I click on and off the game object and the active, I just want it to update that text to say whether it's active or not. So in the update method, we're going to make uh, an if statement. And we're going to say if the hex object, so the game object that I have here, and we're going to use a function called active self. Now this will return a bool, true or false, whether the game object is active. And if it is, this will return true and we want to update our, our text, our active text, and we'll do set text. Uh, and then we'll say the uh, game object is active. Uh, and then we'll have an else statement. So if it's not active, uh, if it's anything other than this returning true, we'll do the same. Uh, we'll copy this line but we will say that it is not active. So if we save this and head back over to into Unity, and if I hit play, so it's saying the game object is active currently, and if I select the hexagon in the hierarchy here and turn it on and off, you can see there it's changing my text, it's detecting whether that is active or not. So the active self is returning at a ball which will be true if the game object is active and therefore it will file this if statement and if not it will just fire the uh, the active text in the else statement. Now there is a problem with this if the game object is a child of a parent game object and that parent is um, inactive the game object might still show as being active itself and just to show this in the hierarchy I'll create a new game object Reset the transform, we'll call this the parent. And if I drag that hexagon game object into the parent, so it's now, now a child of that, and let's hit play again. And if we turn the parent game object on and off, you'll see this is still saying that the game object is active, even though in our hierarchy, it should be inactive under the, the parent. So to fix that, if we go back into our script, and what we can do is change the active self to another function active in hierarchy. And if we hit save and go back into Unity, we'll hit play again. And if we do it exactly the same as we did before, but you can see it is now updating the text based on whether the object is active in the Unity hierarchy. So that can get around uh, if you're having a problem where it's showing that it's active, even though it's part of a uh, game object, it's child where the parent is not active itself. If you want a bit more info on this, if you have a look at the Unity documentation at the active self, it will show you the information and in the active hierarchy, which is linked in here, it'll give you uh, an example script that you can look at this in a bit more detail.